Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Good afternoon, everyone. Temperatures out there slowly starting to climb and breaking into the 30s at this point. It's 32 degrees right at freezing in Robinson, down in Vincennes, 26 degrees, so just a bit cooler. It's 28 here in Terre Haute. Here are those winds a bit on the breezy side for us this afternoon. Coming in out of the south, the wind blowing the direction the arrows are pointing and even though the winds are out of the south, it's still making it feel just a bit cooler because it's breezy out there. 13 mile per hour wind sustained in Terre Haute, 15 in Paris, 15 back through Mattoon. So once you factor that in, it does feel just a bit cooler out there. Wind chill temperature feels like 18 right now in Terre Haute, 18 in Mattoon as well. Temperature tracker taking us through the remainder of this afternoon. 33 degrees by one, continuing to climb into the upper 30s heading through this afternoon. 38 degrees, that's going to be your daytime high. 37, that's your average. So very seasonal temperatures for us today. Now with that clear sky and once that sun sets, we're really going to drop back off near 33 degrees by 7, 29 by 11 p.m. Forecast focus for today, it's that warming trend. We're kicking it off while we're going to stay pretty close to that average daytime high today. We're going to get well above that as we head through the end of the week and also tracking some rain chances by the end of the week as well. Bigger picture now showing us that we do have a mostly clear sky. We have high pressure in control at this point, and that's what's going to keep that sky clear for us. There's your area of high pressure, the ridge right across the central United States. That means and signifies clear skies, and that's what's going to do for us, not just today, but heading into midweek as well. So as far as future cast goes, we'll go hour by hour through the remainder of the day today, but not what's going to change for us. Still sunny skies, those winds coming in out of the south, sustained 10 to 15 miles per hour even. A pretty breezy day getting those temperatures into the upper 30s. We started off with some fog out there, reducing visibility this morning. It was a very cold start, if you can remember, but we're already getting into the 30s. Many of us across the valley for today looking for some mild temperatures as well. Sunny and mild, that's your forecast for the remainder of the day with highs topping out near 38. Now going through the evening tonight, high pressure still in control for us. That means a clear start to your day tomorrow as well. We'll do Mid 20s at 7 a.m. with high temperatures getting just a bit warmer for tomorrow afternoon as compared to today. We'll do lower 40s right around 43 degrees for your daytime high on Tuesday. But with the exception of a few upper level clouds, that's going to be just about it. We're going to keep that clear sky and those overnight low temperatures getting well above that average overnight low of 20 degrees. So here we go, tracking your temperatures for the next six days here. We're going to see highs getting back into the 50s. That's by Thursday, 52 degrees and 55, well above the 37 degree average by the start of your weekend. So for today, lots of sunshine, seasonal temperatures, highs near 38 degrees. Clear skies still tonight, but rather chilly, dropping back to 24. We'll do 43 for your high tomorrow, still sunny through Wednesday. And it's not till Thursday that we're tracking that next chance for some precipitation. And here's the good news. It's going to be all in the rain form. So all that snow out there, it's really going to thaw us out. Across the entire Wabash Valley, the snow that's on the ground right now going to melt because 55 degrees, definitely getting a break from winter. It's not quite done yet. We will see the cooler air by next week, but a nice break. Not that cold. All right, thank you so much, Lindsay.